welcome to Alvatex YouTube channel. Today we're gonna guide you through the basic settings and the interface of our handheld spectrometer Prospector 3. The Prospector 3 allows you to perform an analysis and determine the concentration and composition of absolutely different materials with great accuracy and precision. So this device can make an analysis of metals and alloys, soils, clays, ores, rocks, minerals, mining, and a lot more. Also, this device can make an analysis of plastics for ROHS and V directive. So let's take a closer look at this specific device, because this one has 16 different calibrations, which goes with the metals and alloys, precious metals, car catalyst, uh, a lot of different ferros. As you can see that it's not very similar and has different concentration. So um, let's say each ferros need to have their own button and their own calibration. Now let's turn on the analyzer. After the analyzer is turned on, you will need to insert the password and the next screen you will accept the radiation safety warnings. So let's do it right away. Press start and here we go. It get us through the main menu where you can see all the calibrations. After you inserted the password and accepted the safety warrant signs, uh, you, it will bring you to the main desktop where you can see all the calibrations that is actually installed to this device. Uh, this one got 16 different calibrations, but it is not our main point for today. We should firstly look through the options. And here you can see that we have some points as special, settings, network, monitors, and languages. So let's take care of them one by one. Firstly, let's go to the languages. And here you can see that our devices, all of our devices, has 11 different languages installed on them. And you can switch to the one that is more comfortable for you. And next one is the monitors. So here is actually the big column when you can check the status of all monitors that, and how it's work. Is it properly and or not, or something went wrong? Here where you can spot everything. Our next point is the network. And actually it goes with the additional options. If you have a Wi-Fi installed to the device, you can, as this specific one has, you can go to it and just check for a ne uh, Wi-Fi network. And the other one is the file sharing. Uh, so you can share the file through the internal ports and here is all the information needed for you to make it successfully. Okay, our next point is the is settings and here we really got a lot to, to explain to you. So first of all, it's the screen brightness. It's very easy. You can, you know, just adjust it by yourself to the way you like. If it's too dark outside, you can make it a little bit lower. If it's too, too bright, the same way, just put it on a max. The next one we have here is the sound volume. And here you can adjust it also. If it's not uh, a... a yeah, now we got it. If it's uh, not annoying you, you can put it on the max. If it gets you a bit, you can just turn it lower and you will not hear it at all. So. The next one is uh, trigger. So basically, you can work on this device without a trigger, even if you have it here, because all our devices have the trigger. Um, you can just turn it off or you can turn it on. It depends on you. And you have the options here to depress to start, release to stop, or pull once to start and pull again to stop. So it all depends on how, how it will be comfortable for you to use the device. So, and here we got the start and stop button that you will see appeared on the screen. On each calibration, we should just turn it on and go through. So here we see the menu says that start button is hidden to make more elements visible. 
It also really comfortable if you would like to make an analysis and get the result right on the device. And uh, you know, if something will um, be installed like a start button, you will not see the full result and you will need to scroll it. But without the start button, you will see everything. So this is also a really comfortable feature to have. So the next one we have here is uh, voice. And uh, again, as I said, if this voice will uh, annoy you, you can just turn it off, just switch in like this. And again, if, it, if you totally all right with it, you just can pull it back. Then we got auto rotate screen. So we took off this feature, but you actually can just turn it on and you know, everything was made for you to feel comfortable with the device. So next one, um, we have the auto turn on the video camera and we have this function installed. So let's take a closer look how it works because every time you go to the calibration and you are ready to make an analysis, if you have the sample near, you can just target it and the video camera will turn on automatically. If you don't like this feature, you can just turn it off. So our next feature is actually printing and it's really good because we have the small portable printer that you can get as an additional options and for example if you work on a field you can take this printer with you uh, just to print the result you have immediately and save it and store it somewhere so just to keep it and it, for it to not to be uh, forgotten somewhere. But here we can just check the Bluetooth option if you have it and look for it here at the menu. And also you can, uh, you know, transfer it through the network if you have a Wi-Fi and you can connect to any Wi-Fi host. So our next point is to add GPS tags to measurements. And this is really cool feature because, for example, if you are a geologist, and you need to take uh, analysis in in the field or in you know on some mining uh, somewhere just a mining field. Uh, it will show you the specific location where the measurements was taken. So next time you'll be there, you will uh, lo locate the place and you will understand that this measurement was taken from this specific rock or something else. So our next feature is take photos of samples and you can actually activate and deactivate it like manually for your needs. But uh, sometimes again for like geology, soils and uh, some other materials can be taken by taken with a picture for you to understand not just by a name, but visually by a photo. So our next feature is the measurement storage and it also important option for you to store your analysis and all the result correctly and reliably not to lose it and you know to make sure everything will be on your device or on your memory card and here we have actually two options because you can store some of your results on the device uh, on the memory device and some of them some others you can store on the special memory card like micro SD and it all depends on the size of this card so basically we can store up to 100,000 different results and you will just need for like 10,938 uh, megabytes but for 3,000 you will need just 328 megabytes and it's actually good for to store it on the memory of the device itself you don't need the card for 3000 results for for more you will need to install the micro sd that we provide also with the device so our next feature is measurement export and i think uh, it's pretty clear everything here it says by the name so you can just go to this uh, column and find it the 
a special folder where you want to store that or where you want to transfer your results and you can do it also through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth we are connecting to the computer or um, any kind of storage and also we have three different features left and they are pretty basic so you can go with the setting the time and date setting the password and operator's name for example if uh, there be a few person who will work on one analyzer you can just you know put the input the name of each and uh, just select the operator when he's using it also we have some additional settings for each calibration and just let's take a closer look in it right away yeah as soon as we got to the calibration menu we need to put the options and here we see here we can adjust the spectrum or just put it just to show you the all results in spectrum then we can make the composition that we usually also use it and alloy grade which is really important for a metal and alloy mode compare to alloy pass and fail function and some library with the alloys where you can compare to your results just really a lot of them here of the different grades and standards when you activate the pass and fail function you will have two additional uh, features of it it's alloy to compare to and pass decision threshold but when you put the composition back you will see that there's those two topics are not activated and also we have here averaging where you can switch between three measurements five measurements or your amount of measurements like numeros and averaging settings where you can just adjust take minimal concentration maximum concentration average spectrum and we have here the average concentrations but keep in mind that not all settings of all calibrations are the same some of them has some additional features like car catalysts has the special option of pricing where you can put a price for all three elements and after each measurement it will show you the exact price for rhodium for palladium or for platinum right away summarizing all that i said today it is pretty easy to use the spectrometer as if you ever use the smartphone it will take you just a couple of minutes to understand uh, what is actually you should to press to get some result for example if you need the averaging you will go to the uh, calibration mode and get averaging if you need to to set the date and time you can do it in a basic screen and you have no need to do the it's in the calibration menu so everything is pretty simple you also will have the tutorial with you the quick start guide that will show you what you need to press where everything is located and also you will have the special users manual where you can find more detailed information about each feature you need to get more information about prospector 3 or how to operate on this device you can contact our manager by the phone or write us an email and don't miss out our next reviews and interesting videos subscribe to our channel just click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to receive the notifications of new videos also don't forget to like this video so we know you enjoyed it stay tuned and see you soon bye